multiple goals this season, two of them, in fact, and we get a change as the goalkeeper is Carlos Mercado. Red Bulls on the other side trying out this starting 11. Sofo up top, tied for first in the league. New York Red Bulls, two, one of the four matches in MLS Next Pro this evening were underway. Come in and stay a while with us. Good to have you on board for this one. Handing it over, Rivero gives it right back. Sakuda shoots and hits the left post. Mohamed rebounds. He sticks it in. 100 seconds in. Orlando have the opener, and it's Shaq Mohamed scoring for a second match in a row. Orlando this season scoring here this early in the match. It is. The first time that they have scored in the opening. And they've typically been a little bit leaky in the second half. Nine of the 14 that they had entered entering the night had come in half number two. So, Gusky. Rivera stumbles and a foul given. Our official tonight, Russell Miller. That'll be the man in the pitchers. 80 throughout the day. The humidity starting to amplify. And you're just about ready to get in to this hot time of the year. Half his line. This is very dangerous. And Sakuda scores. He makes Stokes pay. And how about two goals in the opening five and a half minutes for Orlando? Tara Sakuda. Two goals just like that in the blink of an eye before you can even get settled in. Well, finishing up, getting your dinner off the stove or out of the oven. What a night it will be. Atlanta and Carolina coming up at 7.30, as is Crown Legacy and New, New England Revolution to Mosquera. Valencia whips this ball around. It bounces down. Here's a shot attempt. Unable to angle it on frame. It sizzles wide left. Thrown into the 18. Kasule drifts. Trickles it wide. It takes a couple skips. And a foul whistle. And ultimately there. New York finding its best string of possession. Donnie's collide. It comes out of here. And this shot whistles wide left. Why not take a go at that point? Jungle here and a takeaway. This ball floated in, nodded right back where it started. Sukata goes down, and ultimately, no foul is whistled. It just trickles out off of Sukata. Tries to be a gem and cycle a ball in. Boomeranging ball to the back post, and it doesn't hit anybody and ends up working itself out of play. The fortunate thing for the Red Bulls. Red Bulls trying to take a little bit of hold here of this contest. And certainly the hope for Manuel Goldberg is that his team doesn't get complacent. Sofo steps into the 18, crosses back, and then ultimately not much to be had there. In about 15 minutes, Sporting Kansas City travels to Union Omaha. Real Salt Lake goes to New Mexico United. LAFC plays a wall-to-wall action, and we're grateful to have you on board here on MLSNextPro.com to watch Orlando City B and Red Bulls 2. Tosses this ball, a tug of the jersey, and on his backside, ultimately the foul will be whistled. Almaguer is called for the infraction in Next Pro play after debuting in the Open Cup on March 20th. And another deflection. Muhammad circles, Muhammad slips. Still hits the outside netting. Sofo chases, Sofo shoots, Mercado falls down, Sofo gets back to it. And then it's taken away, Sabufu stumbles. He picks out Kasule, and he normally does significantly better from that distance. Now the charge gets built. Sukata draws the foul. And a booking as well, ultimately.
91. Rivera looking to tee this one up. Sukata is there as well. Sukata, a slow start. Now bends this ball down. It takes a couple bounces and it ricochets past Stokes. A third first half goal for Orlando. Yotaru Sukata scores for the second time. And then, before your eye can blink, it's a completely different game. Are we in for something similar tonight? Is this foul? Will it warrant a booking on Sukata? And it looks like, yes, it will. So two goals and now a yellow card. To OCB number 34, Yotaru Sukata, and at a time. Second go at it. This time it's Kibben Gucci winning it cleanly. And now Estrella runs in. Mosquera. And with a man down inside of the 18, Aiden O'Connor motioning that it should have been a foul. And now O'Connor is going to go into the books in this first half. The Bulls have to find something. Serrata spins. Holds on to possession. Sullivan angles. Tosses this one in. The clearance, not all that. Handled all that well. Mosquera shoots, and it's a fine block. Certainly in the last moments here of this first half. Serwata tips one into the air. Sofo brings it down at least for a moment. And then he commits the foul. And likely that'll be our last moments here of this first half, and indeed it is. The whistle blows, first half in the books, and a standing ovation for this Orlando group. Michael Watring and our crew with you as the second half gets started here. Orlando in cruise control, looking for their second win in the last three matches against Red Bulls, two. North Texas, the most shootout wins in the league. They have three of them. Anything else in that two tier? We have both of them here. There's this corner kick coming in. First ball nodded away by Valencia. And thoughts have to be on. Flipping the script and thinking about this second half as a new match. Can they win this second half of play? And on April 14th, he scored half of his goals for the season in that contest. A stumble and a foul. Sabufu draws it. League in general is the overall pathway to the MLS. Sarwada leaves it on a trickle. And now Sullivan. Curls this ball high into the night sky. It hits the crossbar and bounces out. Scored three goals and one assist. Here's a trickling ball and a tackle. That is a foul on Kasule. And here we go. Who wants to take this opportunity? It's into the wall from Sofo. Gets it back, unable to slide past a defender. And yet again, Here's Almaguer. Ellis the target. Acrobatically cleared. He became Chicago Fire's first second team player to feature for the Fire first team in a more or less regular season game. O'Connor heads this out, helping the Golden Jags earn a promotion to Group A in CONCACAF Nations League. 3 0 Orlando leads here. And Georgie Manungu made his debut for Seattle's first team after the Sounders draw against LA Galaxy. Here's Sofo. Sofo cutting it back. Too heavy on this touch. He takes a tumble in the box, and it's a penalty. Gusky commits it. Sofo earns it. Carlos Mercado stands his ground on the chalk. Kasule studies his adversary. Kasule hits it and bangs it into the upper right corner. Decisive penalty taken from Ibrahim Kasule. And Red Bulls are on the board here in the 56th minute. Ladies and gentlemen, New York Red Bulls two goals. Well, that is a really log and a log jam. Orlando finally cycles it out. It took the third try. A tangle, an intervention. Bele sends it wide. Now it's Estrella joining the party. 
This cross avoids everybody. Hefty on the touch. It will slow down just enough to be kept in play. Into the 18, this one stings all the way over. It is Sullivan circling. Lays it back, Kasule. Zerwada throws it in. Orlando asks for a foul to alleviate this pressure. There is no such call. And they already have two tonight. Mohamed can stretch his legs. Orlando Here. in the 60th minute. Orlando leads 3-1 against Red Bulls, two. And a foul whistled, and who is this going to be on? It's going to be on Coca. He's going to hit the books. He's the third member of Orlando's unit to pick up a yellow card. Whips this ball high into the air. Mercado comes out. Was able to get enough of that ball to get it away. Gutierrez hits it into the air. This ball consistently bouncing into the air, and that was nearly a perfectly bounced ball inside of the 18, but instead it's Gutierrez committing the foul. Two goals in this match. Honestly, could have given him an assist as this shot comes in, and it slices just wide right. Underneath the legs of Gusky, he gets enough on it to knock it down. Ellis twirls, then runs over O'Connor. And it's been a typical night for Aiden O'Connor. That white jersey that started the night pristine. So kind of in space. Nobody even really in the picture until O'Connor joins the party. This ball thrown in. Muhammad shot hits the body of Gutierrez. Freeman with a lengthy run. Offside flag is up here as Ellis was about a foot offside. For you on May 19th at 5 p.m. Eastern. When two Eastern Conference top five clubs, it's Red Bulls 2 and FC Cincinnati 2 meet at MSU Soccer Park in New Jersey. Has not really had a whole lot to deal with? His team's been seeking a second goal for a while. Here's Rossboro throwing this one in. What a save that is. Mercado denies. Got low to keep that ball out and preserve a two-goal lead. In. Red Bulls trying to find something, but instead, right off the attack, a shot that Stokes pushes down from Ellis. Sukata back on it. Sukata gets to the left foot. Bound, pounds this ball all the way over everybody. And with 10 minutes plus stoppage time remaining in this contest, Red Bulls trail by a goal. That ball bangs around. Sofo finds himself on it. He shoots. And Mercado again saves the day is nearly a catastrophic giveaway. Loyola, Muhammad angles one, and it just misses wide left. He finally gets another chance to be a consistent cog. This ball twirled around, it's Ellis. Ellis thinks about it, leaves it off, Freeman throws it through, and it's wide left. The Fort Lauderdale native nearly had the sealer. This ball thrown into the 18. Kasule couldn't bring it in. Mina does. Takes a bounce. Ross Burrow was on the doorstep. Curl. Certainly expects somewhat of a chunk of stoppage time. A whistle and a foul. New York have to get a second one here as quickly as possible. Even in the worst of ways right now. Zerwada works around a defender. Continues along against Muhammad. Sarwada cuts it to the top. Winding up with a left-footed shot. It's over the top of the bar. Ofori nearly gave Red Bulls hope. On the overlap here, it's Ofori throwing it in. Sprawling header clears the area. And there's your full-time whistle. Orlando has its first home win of the season. A lightning quick start holds up tonight as Orlando City B takes down Red Bulls 2, 3-1.